Oh, yes! Yeah! There you go. So as you can see, it's now turning left and right. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? All right, guys, in this video, we are going to use minigun and turn it into a mobile anti-aircraft minigun or machine gun. Lots of you have know already this technique, right? Using this large cannon, you can target anything using the mouse or the cursor, right? You cannot move while sitting here, right? You can, If you want this to be mobile or attach it to the tank, must be two players or somebody must be driving the truck or tank or cars and the other one is driving this large cannon so what I'm going to do is gotta teach you something where you don't need a driver so let us try this now so first yeah I want to use wood for this all right to make it looks classic so let us start with the wood so I will bring this up like that and then we I'll make this wide like this so six and then let's make it ten all right and then I gotta place this one all right facing here okay and yes I want this to be wider like this all right I'm going to add some servo okay yes oops uh, this servo should not be connected there all right then I just want to make sure this one is properly attached so I will uh, oops that's too much there you go all right and then I'm going to place another woods all right so one two Three, there you go and make it wide like this all right because this is where we are going to put our boat engine so where's my boat engines there you go I will just use the ordinary motor boat gonna place one here maybe here yes I think that will do and yeah just want to make sure they are attached properly and I will disconnect this first to this then I will extend this okay um I want this to be looks like a car old wheel there you go maybe here and here and here all right oh yeah by the way I want to put them inside there you go there you go and maybe yeah to make it looks uh, classic turn this into this I'll just put some you know little design on this there you go all right so the next step is so yeah guys uh, this wheel will not gonna be used so uh, to move this mobile thing uh, we are going to use this boat all right and yeah I want to extend this I want this to make it a little bigger like that to make it much more stable uh, we can turn this transparent and then uh, instead of using chair because uh, we are going to sit inside of this right wait so we need two sets of servo here so I'll turn up transparent for now select all we need to move these guys all right because I need another servo so I'm gonna clone this there you go I need this so that I can turn left and right properly so this one I just want to make sure these two hinge are connected so the other one should be reversed all right so they must be opposite buttons all right so so up here here and here all right the up is yellow green red and blue all right it's like a PlayStation buttons right and yes guys we need to place another engine uh maybe we can just copy this yeah we need to clone this all right and then rotate move it make sure it is a touch here oops that's too much this yellow button the yellow button forward should be with this okay and then left all right so the left one all right this is right connect it here then this left to the second hinge the reverse is this one all right there you go so now guys we can turn this transparent now the next step is we are going to attach the machine gun here use hinge all right attach the hinge here okay so now we need to attach auto cannon so yeah i gotta place one block here so guys uh uh, but before I do that, I will uh, play some switch. I can ah! <laughs> Look at that. So I just need to attach this switch here. Alright, so now, yes. 
uh, the auto cannon. I will merge it. By the way, guys, yes, I have a separate tutorial on how to do this auto cannon. So, guys, I will put the link on the description or in the comments section. So, yes, guys, uh, use this auto cannon. I mean, auto minigun. Yeah, use this auto minigun. So, there's a separate tutorial for this. I will put it in the description or in the comment section so that uh, you can use this for PvPs. I also have some videos, a proof that the auto minigun is very, very powerful. And yes, guys, my technique is less than five minutes. You can easily build this, and I think yeah, this is the easiest technique on how to do a auto minigun, even auto cannon. I think my my technique is very, very simple and very easy. I will uh, put it on the side and this here. Okay. Oh, by the way, yes. Before I, uh, this is important. Just want to make sure that the delay is holding into the minigun so they won't fall all right and then yes gonna touch cake then uncheck this there you go so now i can sit here ah, ah. <laughs> i must turn oh ooh, not that one i must turn a collision with this one yes Ooh, all right check anchor and then Remove the cake. You can now stand up. Yes, delete and yeah, this one is okay, guys. So uh, we need to make some adjustment with this. As you can see, the Gatling guns are touching this uh, mechanics, the motorboat mechanics. So put this down. Yeah, like that. It's okay. These buttons are these boat motors can also be connected with the left and right button. All right. So that while you are turning left and right. You are still moving, all right? I gotta place a heavy block here. So I will reduce this. All right. So maybe as long as this one. All right, there you go. And yes, I want this to be, all right, as tall as this, all right? There you go. So yeah, I think this will do. Or I can pull this up to here. All right, then turn off transparency, okay? This one should be, all right. All right, so connect this. So there you go. Actually for this one, the back engine, now we can now delete this and we don't need the hitch there actually. All right guys, so let us try this now. So I'll uncheck anchor now. Actually, yeah, this one, the machine gun, you can turn them transparent. There you go. Oh. Yes, turn them transparent. All right, there you go. And of course, this one also. Yes, turn it transparent. All right. So let us start firing now. Fire! Ooh, all right. So now to drive this. All right, so we press the switch. Guys, by the way, uh, this is best used for mobile for mobile users because guys you can use two hands to control uh, in mobile phone right to control this all right but here in PC I only have one cursor so uh, yeah it's gonna be hard but you can actually still control this right and then uh, yes yeah, use uh, this is best for mobile phone guys so at least Mobile phones now have a big advantage over uh, PC users, alright? So, let's test. So, move forward, press the yellow, move backward, the green one. And turn right. Yes, alright. And turn left. Alright, so I think, yeah, maybe you should experiment with the uh, speed. I think, yeah, let's try to reduce some speed so that we can control this uh, easily. There you go. So as you can see, it's now turning left and right. All right. So let's move. Let's drive. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. And of course, when you are inside of this, look at that. Destroy everything. Oh, hey, I'm, uh, there you go. Destroy. Destroy these rocks. All right. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, finish them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is so cool, guys. And with combination, oh, oh, with combination of auto cannon, guys, look at that. 
It's now clearing everything. Woohoo! It's like having free passage to get the treasure. Oh yes! Yeah! Ooh. All right, guys. So yes, guys. For mobile users, you can uh, definitely take advantage of this. So by the way, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now and click the notification bell. And please like and share the video. So guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.